this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite man beaters out of the gun bunch out of the New York Jets playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is simply all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And if you are looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Okay guys, now in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the play Smash Return and why I like it so much. I think it might be one of the best route combinations in the gun bunch right now, specifically both for man coverage as well as for zone coverage. So we're going to be going over why that's the case in this video and also some different tools and strategies that you can use to make it even better with some adjustments and some motion snaps. Now, uh, what we're going to start out here is just simply against a basic cover four uh, drop type of defense. We're not going to use zone drops right off the bat. And again, if you have not already um, you always want to be running your bunch to the wide side of the field, at least for the majority of the setups. Now, Smash Return is actually one of those plays that does a decent job at getting open whenever you run it to the short side of the field. So you see here, um, if I just simply you know streak the R1 receiver, you're going to see that that tight end um, is basically going to force that zone drop to kind of shift down inside. And as you can see, you're able to really um, just simply work the ball very well. Now, really quickly here in this video, what I want to talk about is how you can actually maximize the totality of this play to be able to be hard flats, zone drops, different things like that. And if you have not already got my New York Jets offensive ebook, my ebook is just 15 bucks. The entire scheme is broken down completely for just $15. If you want to pick it up, it's in the description of this video. But basically all we're going to do is we're going to streak the R1 receiver here, Devontae Adams. And then we're going to just simply take the running back out of the backfield. You know, we're just going to either put him on a flat route, a swing route, a wheel route. You can put him on an option route, but if they run zone coverage, it's going to really mess with the spacing. So I recommend uh, some type of wheel route, some type of quick flat route or something like that. And then the last step that we're going to take is we're simply going to motion um, Tavon Austin, the circle receiver here to the right, and we're going to snap it just before he sets, as you see right there, kind of just before he sets. And you'll see right here, you see that, you know, basically you can kind of just pass lead this open depending on how they play it. And again, all you're doing is you're streaking the R1 receiver, you're putting that running back on a little swing route, the triangle receiver, and then you're just simply motioning that circle receiver out to create some nice spacing. And as you can see here, it's simply a low pass with your quarterback and you're going to be able to hit this route to the X receiver very, very consistently. And if you're playing mutt, uh, one of the things that I would recommend you do is go ahead and try to work in like some, some matchup nightmare or something like that. Um, just the better route running you can get, the better this is going to do against like man coverage, for example. But you'll see here, cover three, it gets, you know, in a really nice little spot against that cover three as well. It just gets in a really kind of unique spot on that side of the field. Now, as far as like man coverage goes, like I said, Robert Tunyon is not going to have the route running to be able to get open against man coverage. But what you will notice is this circle receiver, uh, Tavon Austin, does a really, really nice job of being able to just simply beat man coverage to the inside. I'll show you that one more time. Um, that's one of the reasons why I really like to just motion him out. You're going to see that it's going to cre create a nice little natural um, kind of almost universal rub. And worst case scenario, even if the cornerback is really effective, he's going to be able to just simply, you know, possession, catch it and get the ball downfield. Now, what I like with that is that pairs very nicely with the routes on the backside as well. Um, this route to the square receiver is one of those routes that, you, you know, it's an it's a inside breaking route. It's very similar to the play uh, Flood. But the in route is a little bit more shallow from this play than Flood. Uh, and it is a little bit more, um, in my opinion, it's a little bit better against off coverage. Um, just because, especially, it's actually better against one step ahead too because it has kind of three to four cuts, whereas the in route from Flood only has one. But as you see here, the circle receiver rows his man very, fairly consistently. So if their user goes to the left, then you're going to throw to that circle receiver. If their user goes to the right, then you're probably going to throw to the running back or to the uh, square receiver there cutting the inside, as you can see right there. But, I mean, it beats cover three. It beats cover two. Uh, real quick, I want to show you what happens if they use zone drops as well. 
But again, if you want to get my full ebook that explains exactly how to use this entire offensive system and offensive scheme, uh, all you have to do is pick it up in the description. It's literally down below. All you got to do is click the open up the description to be able to see it. And like I said, it's the best offense in the game. I mean, just put plain and simple, it is by far the best offense in the game. It's the most consistent year in and year out. And this year's no different. The smash return play is one of the secret gems of this of this offense. So uh, real quick, I wanna show you something like a Mabel coverage. And this is what makes this play so good is against a lot of the Mabel coverage that you're gonna be seeing online. Um, where they're gonna try to double flat both sides. Number one, what's gonna happen is this little square receiver, you can basically low ball that in front of everybody um, or simply just pass it to the outside. And I'll show you that one more time here. So again, what you'll see is, let me just get the Mabel coverage here. So let me, let me just zone off that square linebacker so that you can see some Mabel coverage. And what you'll see here is that that X receiver Essentially, all I'm doing is I'm just low passing him to the outside. What I'd probably recommend, you know, it, again, this is a little bit of a, you know, based off the based off of where that flat zone is, it does definitely make a difference. I will say, uh, I will say that it, it does make a difference, um, just as far as like where that flat zone comes from. If the flat zone comes from the, the running back, or I'm sorry, the linebacker, versus if the flat zone goes to the corner, uh, the corner is going to do a better job. And you'll see here, the corner will do a little bit better of a job. But what you'll see is you can throw this hard outside and right and if, as long as you got a good possession catch you're going to be able to complete this very consistently so the smash return is one of the most important plays in the gun bunch arsenal and if you really want to become a good bunch player i think you should be calling the smash return probably between 20 to 25 percent of your play calls as a gun bunch player so it's a very very good one in every four times i think sh this should be called it is a very very good play and like i said if you want to get the complete gun bunch offensive system there's a link in the description that can take you to pick up the ebook the ebook is just 15 dollars so far it's been helping a lot of people a lot of people have had a lot of really really good results with this offense so thanks for watching this video and if you want to get the ebook it's in the description for you